Do these have cyanocobalamin in them? Oh. Huh. Play the game, I'll look. Welcome back to Shinstrap Chance. No. We're doing stuff. No! They don't. Welcome back to Shinstrap Chance. Alright. Uh. They. Nope. There's so much water. I would hate this part. So goddamn. It's got goddamn Xanax much. in it. I mean. Xanax. <laughs> This is too rich for my blood. Not recommended for children, pregnant women, or people sensitive to caffeine. You said that before. What? We keep repeating ourselves. We keep repeating ourselves. It's too high. Shut the fuck up. We keep repeating Shut ourselves. Oh god, I did it too! <laughs> <laughs> so, Billy, uh. <clears throat> I wanted to bring up a game that we should play on the show as a versus game. Yeah, I know. You told me off camera. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I want to bring it up for the audience because I want them to hear about the majesty that is this game. Okay. All right, so we've been playing Hot Shots Golf, uh, you know, for the all of our versus stuff recently. Uh, if you have, by the way, folks, if you have any uh, recommendations for... <laughs> If you have any recommendations for uh, versus games, let us know because we're kind of stumped on uh, a couple, on that sort of thing. We don't really have that many out right as of right now uh, for games to play. But anyway, the game that I'm thinking we should play it's in the same vein as as a golf game because it's basically the same principle, but it's called Ribbit King for the PlayStation Two. And the Ribbit idea King. the idea of the game is they play the world revolves around this game called Froth. And what it is, it's basically golf, except you hit frogs into the hole. Okay, so it's another golf game? It's just yeah, with frogs? Yeah, but you hit frogs. Well, that seems kind of So silly. what they do is they they have a catapult, like a tiny catapult. They put their frog on it, and then they hit it with a mallet. And then the frog just goes... <laughs> flies. Huh. And then it like when it hits the ground, it hops. And then you can make it land in like spider webs, and then they bounce, and then it eats flies and shit. And then like sometimes like a big dragon thing will come up and like shake it around. That sounds dangerous for the frog. Um, I don't think Peter would like that. <clears throat> the game came out a long time ago. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's for PS2, I would assume so. But I still don't think Peter will like it. And I think the the main character's name. If I'm not mistaken, his name is Scooter. Um, I think. Scooter? And it's, it's his quest to become the Rivet King. Or the King of Frolf, I guess. Oh. I played that game many times because I had a demo of it. I played it all the time. <laughs> it's actually kind of a fun game. As, as stupid as it sounds, and as stupid and weird as it is... There's this, like, Richard Simmons, like, purple blob thing that comes out, and he starts singing <laughs> shit to you at the end, like, after a match. Yeah. He's like, who is the winner? That's how he talks. And it's really creepy, and, like, makes you feel really uncomfortable. Because he's like... Someone bias this game. I would, li- I would like, I don't want to spend money on it, because I don't fucking want to, but yeah. Uh... I'm going to be that dick. Donate us games. <laughs> P.O. Box. We don't have a P.O. Box. Let's see. You got some... I don't know. You if, got some weeds, if some, some shivs upgrade. <laughs> if anybody in the world who watches this has a copy of Ribbit King and is willing to part with it, please leave a clear and concise comment in the comment box below and we will get back to you. Also, why do you have Ribbit King? I think a better question to ask is why don't you have Ribbit King? Ribbit <laughs> King is a way of life. Ribbit King is hey, don't life. Wait right here. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. We need to light the room. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope. It'll still be stationary. What is that? Sure. <laughs> Unintended. Volume 2. By Will Volume Richardson. two. <laughs> Let's keep going. I tried to catch some fog earlier. I missed. 
You know what's not right? Left? Yeah. <laughs> what does a pirate say while eating sushi? I don't know what. Ahoy! Pass me some soy. We have to leave. I don't get it. I don't either. <laughs> People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon. <laughs> okay, I'm all joked out. Now what? I guess we're gonna go kill people? I don't know. <laughs> How do you follow that up? Mmm, but eating a goddamn pretzel. Mm. That's a good idea. I'm all for that shit. Mm. Hey, Billy. <clears throat> Try playing the game. Okay. Hey, Billy. Does this area look familiar to you? Yeah. I saw it in uh, the demos. Or, sorry, the train. Yeah. The trailers for this game. What? I saw it. I saw this part in the trailers for the game. He's giving up trying to explain this to me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Huh? Who? And that's where I'm just gonna. <sighs> Fuck your joke. <laughs> I saw it in the trailer, it's cool. Me too. Megan, 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 Megan. I saw this in the trailers as I'm well. On the fucking cool. roof. Except, Megan, Megan, Megan. Except there were Molotovs in the trailer. Look at that haircut. Oh, uh, good riddance. You should shoot that guy. Just to be. Oh, never mind. I could. His, his head just merged with that dresser. Oh. That's not normal. Alright, let's. That. Ah! That is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's all I got. <laughs> that wasn't me saying a terrible word. I just made the sound. No, you said a terrible word. Admit it. What up? Yo, what up? Ah! <laughs> Have fun with that. Was that real or you just mime miming That was it? miming it. Okay. I was not actually doing it. <laughs> Should I blanket with the one that you bit did before? I guess, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you, this is all... The ball is in your court, Taylor. Oh. Hey, you! I'm having balls in my... You totally missed. <laughs> How did you hit that, dude? <laughs> what, does he have like a phantom limb behind his head? <laughs> what you don't know is... <laughs> He's actually a holographic projection <laughs> of himself that he only keeps a foot in front. So when people try to kill him... They have to miss intentionally in order to hit they, him. Yes. <laughs> no, because there have been times earlier in this game where you had like been aiming at somebody who was stationary too, by the way, with the bow, and you shot at them and missed, but that dude you clearly missed and yet you killed him. <laughs> Like in one of the previous... I guess they're just giving me a freebie for all the times that I <laughs> fucked it up. Oh, because I remember I had I had just finished uh, editing one of the previous episodes, and you tried to shoot a clicker who's just standing there, and it looks like you have the the reticle clearly on its head, but you missed, and yet that one clearly <laughs> was not on his head, and I hit. No, I think I might have to do a slow mo replay of that shit. Do, 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 do. And then, like, a comparison of that other one. <laughs> I don't talk. It's just what it is. I'm not gonna put my wee wee in that thing. Man, Man you fucked that shit up hard. Hey! You! I'm having balls in my. Ah. Did you rig my game, Billy? <laughs> Did you break it? Apparently. A bear ant Lee. You, I wouldn't want a bear ant Lee. It's like Bruce That's Lee dangerous. with a bear and an ant mix. No, she's an ant. She's my aunt Lee, but she's a bear. That was, oh, that was a nice shot. Right in the fucking chin. That was a good one. I don't have an aunt Lee, by the way. I only have Dawn and. Oh, it's getting to that point. No, no, no. 
Start chugging it, bitch. Was that too mean? <laughs> no. No, it wasn't. Start chugging it, bitch. Was that mean? I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Let me make it up to you by making you some brownies. Fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll put some whipped cream on that now. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I was going to say another no-no word. I stopped you by just swearing. I know there's like one more guy in there. Ah! Shh. It's you all would. gone. Okay. Make it a make it a make it a mirror. I like to do that because I get to go make it a make it a make it a mirror. Someone's around here. This is actually a pretty good looking hotel. Oh! Alright! God! For once, I'm actually not fucking up with the bow. Yeah. It's mainly because I'm actually taking my goddamn time with Holy it. Holy shit, Billy taking his time. Never thought I'd see the day. Sure you do. Oh, yeah, right in the chin. You ever... You ever itch your beard, and then you're like, I shouldn't have done that, because now I have to itch more? Dibble! Yeah, probably. Do you ever, like, have your beard grow out long enough, and then you keep stroking it because you're like, damn it, this is long, and I don't like it being this long? No. That's what I was like yesterday. For, like, a solid, like, 45 minutes, I just kept stroking my beard. I'm like, I really... I've got a lot of excess hair going on here. Well, my beard has always been longer than yours, so I'm quite used to having an excess of hair on I kind of... One of these days, I want to just not shave for, like, a month. <laughs> well, you could do the No Shave November. I'm, I'm probably going to do that this time, because I, I want to see, see how, like, crazy it's going to oh, get. You like, see... you know how DJ... When he lets his hair grow out, he gets an afro. Yeah. One of our, one of one of my old friends. I I don't really talk to him much anymore. But DJ, he's got curly hair, and when he lets it grow out, he legitimately has like an afro, like a huge afro. It's weird. So it's a white fro. Yeah. It's so weird. he's a white dude walking around with a big ass afro. It's crazy. But I wonder if that's gonna happen with my face. If I'm gonna have like a, like an afro on my face. <laughs> well, it'll kind of look like it. Bringing it back. Fro face. <laughs> Bringing it back. I don't think it was ever a thing. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you if I stuck with the fro face for long enough, people would be like, oh my god. You know, it'd catch on. Oh, oh Jesus. You son of a... Oh. <laughs> you could do anything that stupid and then people will fucking be like, oh, that's pretty cool. I want to do <gasps> Jesus! <laughs> Oh, man. He didn't see anything. It wasn't the pipe that killed him. It was him smashing his face into the wall after you hit him with the pipe. Yep. Were you going to say something? Um, I was going to say that uh, as long as we actually... Damn it, that's brutal. <laughs> get everyone else to uh, join in with the fro... Or not the fro. Uh, the uh, No, Shave, no Shave, Shave November. I think that would be fun. Also, I always cheat at No Shave November because I like it to at least look good. So I shaved the cheeks and, you know, the oh, neck yeah. beard stuff. Because yeah. that's just nasty looking. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Nice job. That was awesome. Whoa! That's not awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to do it. I always would like to, just to see. How... I want to just see, like, the absolute, like, extent that, like, my beard would go to. Yeah. Like, if I'm fucking... Why won't you die? Well, he shot his helmet off the first time. Oh, okay. Like, the absolute extent of me, like, trying to make some fucking, uh, castaway. Yeah. Won't well, look like that. Or even fucking Forrest Gump when he's running across America. Either, oh, yeah. Either or. Oh, I didn't see him. Where'd that dude come from? Do you notice his shadow was really weird? Like, his shadow had no face. Yeah. You notice that? Well, you know... 
Oh, no, I like was smashing it in, so it's fine. It's like his head was gone. Holy shit! What the fuck happened? She threw something at it. Oh, okay. But that dude just came out of nowhere. Like, you didn't even see that coming. It was, she was like, watch out! <laughs> I'm already getting hit. It doesn't matter. Thanks for the late... I was gonna say, use your rifle, brah. You got the right idea. Damn. I missed! Damn I missed! It. He's coming up! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was doing the fire thing for me. <laughs> Damn! These guys are ruthless. Well, that was the first time I've ever died by fire. That was pretty sweet. All right, For we're some back reason, here. I keep thinking that that thing over there left. Look to your left. That machine, that brown one right yeah. there. I keep thinking it says cheese it on it. I don't know why. Like the back of it, like that thing, like that vent. I keep thinking it says cheese it. I don't know why. <laughs> Like, from a distance, a... because, like, it comes off, like, you know, at the very edge. God damn it. Can you come pick me up? <laughs> and that's how we end the conversation. Woo! He's gonna probably call you bad. Yep. Jimmy. I told him. Jimmy, for further reference, if you watch this, stop it. Stop calling us. Oh, oh I missed. Sir, stop calling Billy when we're fucking filming. Hey, look at his face. He's, like, got no face in his shadow. That's weird. That is weird. Alrighty. But why? When people call, why do I always say the same thing? Hey, can you pick me up? I don't get it. Do you, do I look like I'm a taxi service to you? Um, I think it was it was basically when Alex would need to get off of work. Yeah, because she would uh. Call you for rides. Sure. So you're a free taxi service, yeah. But only for the bros and the sisses. So, Alex, basically. Yeah. Oh! That was good. Fuck! You. Damn. They did a really good job with that in this game. How do you like it? Thank you. The uh, companion AI. I think they did a pretty good job with it. Yeah, I like it. I remember I read in the interview in that new uh, uh, issue of uh, Game Informer, Neil Druckmann clarified a little bit on the whole uh, um, AI stuff with them not being able to be detected and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And they're like, he says, uh, they kind of had to bite the bullet and decide they like they didn't want to do it that way where like they don't get discovered but at the same time they're like they didn't want to make people have to deal with getting discovered by yeah AI. like they didn't want to deal with the frustration they didn't want to frustrate players when that stuff happened yeah so they're like they're that's like, what i understand they're like all the positives outweigh the negatives in that aspect you know we'd rather have it that way than have it so like you're getting pissed off because the, your AI companions are causing you to get discovered all the time. So I think that, I mean, I think they made the better I think decision. he's alive. Shoot him. <laughs> he was kicking. <laughs> no, I think they did up, the... Up, 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 hey, 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 is he gone? Can we stop playing? Oh, uh, guys, I'm right here. Team, you know I'm ticklish on my feet. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, as you were. <laughs> but yeah, they said, uh, you know, they didn't want the player to get frustrated by it. And I think that they did. Made the, they made the right decision by uh, deciding to just say, hey, it's only we know, you. We know that it's shitty that this happens and we know it breaks immersion from time to time. But honestly, you know, it's better this way than the other way. Yeah. And I would, I would agree on that. So it's like... At least he acknowledges it, too. He's like, yeah, we know. But we the decided, one, you know, The one thing... That I wish they would have done was the because you'll see Ellie and Bill and everyone else they will run into enemies. Yeah, 
if they just if they programmed it instead of them just following you, if they programmed it to where they are technically on the enemy side, where like they they know what the enemy is going to be doing, their their AI and everything, mm. and they accordingly will avoid, you know. Avoid them, or even like maybe like if they seize an opportunity to maybe even take them down, that'd be kind of cool. If, like they yeah. help you out or something like that. But I, I mean, I understand. Like you know, I understand the whole, why they couldn't. Yeah, because then it would make it very hard to actually have the person help you because technically they're on the enemy side. Right. But yeah, it would so be think, better I, for that because I mean sometimes it breaks it where you're like, oh, why did you just run into that clicker and not get killed? Yeah, <sighs> whatever. I think we talked about this before. We probably have. We like to repeat ourselves. We like to repeat ourselves. We like to repeat ourselves. Have I mentioned that my memory's gotten worse over time, and I tend to repeat myself? <laughs> Did I tell you about the time that my memory is starting to go away, and I repeated myself? No. That's what my engineering teacher says all the time. I think he's losing his mind. <laughs> I think he's gone crazy. One time, uh, it was during my last... Um, engineering course that I just had over the summer and he drew a microphone like he was talking about microphones and like you know the uh, wattages and that sort of thing going from like a microphone to an amplifier or whatever he drew a microphone looked like a dick and then he looked at it and he's like well that doesn't really look right and then he started laughing and then he erased it <laughs> well at least you know he knew what he was doing it was kind of funny I'm gonna heal myself. I mean, it's a waste. <laughs> yeah, or I feel this could be oh, that's kind of funny. sugar, isn't it? No, my uh, what the fuck is that? That's a cloth. I just used it, didn't I? Yeah, you get, you didn't craft another one. Oh, <laughs> dumb shit. Anyway, piece of ass. My uh, the one guy that I sat next to in that class is gay, and uh, well, that's kind of rude. No, <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's legitimately I... gay. And <laughs> I could just imagine, as soon as he drew the dick on the on the board, he's like, why'd you erase it? <laughs> now that's kind of rude. I know. <laughs> I knew that's why I kind of hesitated to say it, but... Fuck it, man. Oh, that's cool. Well, he's, a, he's, a, he's a cool dude, though. Alright, so, I was at work the other day. Sure you were. There was this guy. Uh-huh. He walked in. Yeah. He had dreads. Okay. And he was looking for a job. Uh huh. I, I am not the person to you know say hey yes or no to that, but when you walk into a job, don't have dreads. Yeah. Because one of two things you're telling me: one, you don't have very good personal hygiene because you need to not, you know, wash your hair to have dreads, and that's just nasty. Well, plus, in a place like that, we work at Hungry Howie's. Yeah, so we work at not, food. You don't want to have dreadlocks and working in food because they will not let you do that. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty lean. I mean, you would like, have to have a hairnet or something. Oh, they would make them wear a hairnet for sure. That's just nasty. I remember, uh, you know, Kittle? Yeah. He uh, worked at BP for a while, and he had dreads, and they made him wear a hairnet. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just you what have happens. to. No, you have to, man. Otherwise, uh, you know, you can get you can get in some uh, some health code violations and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, you gotta gotta be gotta be safe, gotta be careful. Yep. Alex, if you're watching this, you remember this part? Took you forever to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, uh, he came in. I'm oh, nothing bad. Happens. Oh! Oh no! No! Oh, that would I hurt was like so ass. deceived. That would hurt like ass. Anyway, but yeah, he came in. He had dreads, and I'm like, that's just nasty. I mean, what? What? Cut your dreads off. Yeah. One because dreads look dumb. Mm -hmm. Dreads are dumb. I do not like them. They've never been cool. I think maybe at, like, Woodstock, maybe. What? Woodstock, maybe. They were kind of cool. Oh, yeah. They, they, they've been the cool. 70s. They were cool at some point, but they were still not that cool. T.M. Stevens. 
Who? T.M. Stevens. I, I still Next don't know Next time this on Chin Strap Chats, we're going to figure out where T.M. Stevens uh, is in this hotel. He's here. Now we're gonna talk. We're gonna have a chat with T.M. Stevens. Stay tuned. You're not gonna want to miss talking to T.M. Stevens. The fuck's T.M. Stevens? Watch the next episode and you'll find out. Watch the next episode. <laughs> the light scared me.